Hey, welcome to my channel. Well, today of all days, I received 12, no less than 12 emails to my Captain Drone email address asking, should I get the Crystal Sky or should I get that new DJI smart controller? Well, let me take you back in time and try to keep this video extremely short and to the point. So let's go back to 2016. In 2016, DJI released the Phantom 4 Pro and they had a model called the Phantom 4 Pro Plus. So the Plus model came with the integrated controller, which is basically identical to what you get in the new Mavic controller. It's a thousand nits, super bright outside. It has ability to put SD cards and it's got ports, HDMI and all that good stuff. So, and it runs on Android and it does a lot of the same things. So since 2016, a lot of us have gotten really used to these integrated controllers and what's good about them and what's not so good. And I still remember back then, this was friggin' expensive and everybody on the forums would say, I'm not buying that. I'm gonna wait until DJI comes out with the Crystal Sky Monitor. Why would I ever wanna buy a controller and a display unit in one. That's really binding my hands. So uh, they wanted the Crystal Sky Monitor and then DJI launched the Crystal Sky Monitor and they went, holy crap, that's freaking expensive. So uh, they didn't want the other integrated one. And when they saw the price of this one, they said, that is too expensive. Now, I will say I was one of the guys at the beginning who said that is freaking expensive for a Crystal Sky. They've since dropped in price somewhat. But all I can say is that now that I have one, I got this in 2018. Before this thing, I was using my high-end Samsung Galaxy, which is like, I think it's 1200 nits when it's at max brightness outside. And it was really good. But yeah, I get phone calls on here, text messages and all sorts of social media while I'm trying to fly. So not so good. So I'm really, really, really into the Crystal Sky. I think it's an awesome, awesome device. Now, what did DJI come out with today? Well, they basically took the Mavic 2 controller for the Zoom and the Pro and stuck the Crystal Sky in it. Except they didn't put all the great features of the Crystal Sky into it. They had to cut corners someplace. So basically what you're getting today is you're getting this. Not really this, but more this. So let's get to the question. What should I get? Should I get the new DJI Mavic smart controller or should I get the Crystal Sky? Well, let me tell you this and you decide. If you get a Crystal Sky, it works with the DJI Spark, the DJI Mavic Air, the DJI Mavic Pro Platinum, and the DJI Mavic 2 Pro, and the DJI Mavic 2 Zoom, and the Phantom 4, and, well, I don't have an Inspire, but it works with the Inspire too. Now, if you get the new DJI Smart Controller, it works with the DJI Mavic 2 Zoom and Mavic 2 Pro, the Phantom 4 Pro 2.0. Yeah, so there's not much it works with, right? Now, DJI does say if you get the smart controller, it's kind of future-proof. It's gonna work with future drones. Now, the future drone has to have OcuSync 2.0. So that means any future drone that costs $1,000 or less is not gonna have OcuSync 2.0. So it's only gonna work with the Phantom 5 and maybe the 2020 model of the Mavic 3 Pro. And unfortunately for a guy like me who has multiple DJI drones, and let's say we can jump one or two years in the future, and now there's like four different DJI drones that are OcuSync 2.0 on the market. Well, if I have that smart controller, I have to bind it to each drone. So if I want to go out and fly, I'm probably going to have to bind it to a drone prior to going out and fly. And then if I want to use another drone, I'm going to have to unbind it, bind it to the next drone. So that could be a little bit of an issue. And one really important benefit of a Crystal Sky monitor, that's why people who fly Inspire 2s have Crystal Skies, is on the back, the battery is removable. So you can have multiple batteries and never run out of power. With the Mavic Smart Controller, the battery in it will last a couple of hours, but once it's done, it's done unless you have something else to continuously provide power to it. Now, it's not all gravy with the smart Crystal Sky and the smart Phantom 4 Pro Plus and the new DJI smart controller because they all suffer the same limitations. There's no SIM card in any of these. So in other words, when I go out someplace, I can't live stream unless I connect these to my cell phone. Another item that I've found with all of these is you have to cache the maps before you go out. And that's true for the new DJI smart controller because since there's no SIM card, when you go out in a field, it doesn't have a clue what the maps are. So you have to download them ahead of time. So it means you really have to plan your outings with it. And obviously a really important factor to consider is price. The Mavic Smart Controller, well, it's overpriced. In my opinion, I think it's overpriced. But then again, I said the same thing about other products from DJI in the past, because DJI, you have to pay that DJI tax. 
What is a DJI tax? Well, that means whatever the price of the product is, DJI adds, well, an extra $200. And uh, people like us, we will pay it. That's just something, we even say that in Apple, Apple tax, because everything is so expensive for what you get, but they run the market, so we can't argue. So for the price of that new DJI Mavic smart controller, well, look at this. This is an Autel Evo controller. I got a little three inch display. This controller plus this really awesome drone cost me $999. So it's not too far off from the price of that smart controller that DJI is trying to sell. So you see how overpriced that thing is? It's overpriced by about $200 in my opinion. So with all of that said, you probably made up your mind if the DJI smart controller is for you or the Crystal Sky. Now, let me just say this. If you have not bought yourself a Mavic 2 Pro or a Mavic 2 Zoom yet, you don't own one, but you're thinking of buying one, then by all means, yes, consider getting the new smart controller bundled in with the drone because you'll save yourself a lot of money. They have a nice little discount when you get both together. And I have to admit, the crystal sky is super bright outside and the smart controller is exactly the same screen, which is exactly the same screen that they used back in 2016. They're all the same. And they are extremely bright outside and you will get a better view from that, but it is pretty limited. It's only like five and a half inches. For all you guys using tablets, you'll probably find that a little bit too small and limiting for you. And in addition, all you guys with shoulder bags and cases, you're thinking, where am I gonna put this new controller if I get it because it is kind of large. It's not going to fit in my bag or my case. Well, stick it in the same spot you would have stuck a tablet because then it will fit nicely there. And this brings me to a question for you, the viewers. Think about this for the next week. Let's say you buy the DJI smart controller. And as DJI says, it's good for future products that run OcuSync 2.0. Well, let's say DJI comes out with a Phantom 5 and it's OcuSync 2.0. Are they gonna give everybody a discount who has that controller? In other words, you can buy the Phantom 5 without the controller because you'll have a controller that can actually work with it? Or will you have to buy the Phantom 5 and the controller because they just come together at launch, so you're stuck with paying for that, and now you're never gonna use the controller because you're gonna use the one that you bought, the DJI controller. Anyways, you know, that's just something to think about. I'm sure everybody's got a million answers for that. So post them below because I honestly don't know. And I don't know if I'm gonna buy one. And I don't know if you should buy one. That's for you to decide. So please do not ask me the question, should I buy one? I've told you what I know here, but if you still have questions, post them below and I'll try to answer. Anyways, thanks for watching this video and we'll catch you in the next one.